36. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding show here every trading day. Also, a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under Featured Content on the right-hand side. You see the Mastering Probability. You just hit that subscribe button. You can get Mastering Probability for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 at 22%, and one full year for $1195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, when you get Steve's newsletter, folks, okay, you're going to get all his tools that also come with it. So he's got an extensive amount of tools out there that he uses every day to go through these markets. Go check it out. It comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, you and I are two very lucky guys for a number of reasons. One of those reasons, you know, we both have home teams. I know. <laughs> hockey home teams. That, and, we've have, and we have adopted home teams. Right. And granted, you know, the, the, and, and I actually have two adopted home teams because I'm a big Lightning fan. But... I'm also a uh, Panthers fan. Right. And so, you know, and so so the good news is, although the Lightning are out, you're not out of it, right? I know. <laughs> and that Bruins goal, folks, was amazing. I mean, it was like he was playing pool. He knocked <laughs> it. He, he didn't see this goal, folks, okay? He knocked it off the boards. And, I mean, it was unbelievable, man. It, no, no, it just great, worked out it, that way, but it really was like they were playing pool, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there's some, you know, there, there's been some really amazing uh, games. And, and and actually, the the passing, um, you know, I don't know if you watched any of the Panthers games, but the... the and he, oh, I, I did. I'm, obviously I did. Yeah, did. Yeah, watched yeah, yeah. them all, yeah. Right. I mean, the tic-tac-toe right. of, of those passes were are so amazing. But it'll be interesting, an interesting game tonight, right? Because Florida's been off for, yeah. I don't know, four, four or five days. Uh, and sometimes, you know, you get a little bit of rust on on your game. So it should be an interesting game tonight between the Bruins and uh, and the Panthers. So yeah. I'm def I'm definitely looking forward to that. I'm sure you are as well. Oh, big time, man! I mean, you know, but, but we're in the second round, so no, I can't see games every single day. I you know, know that, I right? that, that's so funny, man. That, <laughs> you know, you, know, uh, you can pitch it, Steve and I, folks, going through every night. You know, you go click, click, click. You know that I, you just know another game is going to be on. Do you know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. Oh yeah. As, what Steve just said, that's exactly. Exactly where anyone that watches all of them, that's where everyone's head goes. Like, oh, exactly. bummer. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. My wife's like, what are you doing? I'm going downstairs watching the end of the game. I know it's in the third period. It's yeah. one in the morning. You know, they're just finishing up on right. the West Coast or 1230 right. wow. or what have you. So uh, second round it is. Hey, Tom, when we were together last Monday, uh, we were looking at some A to B equals CD patterns that had formed out there. Yes. And uh, those patterns... Uh, and those patterns still exist out there, but but there's new A to B equal CD patterns uh, for the uh, indices that uh, that we want to take a look at today. And last Friday, so it was the Friday before that I actually informed these other ones that we're taking a look at. And this is a chart that was taken from last Monday when we were together. But this is now the new chart. I've got my other tools and my other screen out here. And last Friday, we had the uh, SPY uh, close above a, a swing point, a B point of an A to B equal CD with volume. The same thing inside the Qs and the same thing inside the IWM. So I now have new or larger A to B equal CD patterns. The SPY, I've got at 521. I like the Q's it. At, the Q's like at 441. <laughs> yeah, the Q's at 441. The IWM at, at 206 is their initial price targets. And, and I think I was just turning in just as you were finishing up uh, or, or just talking about uh, one of the ETFs you were looking at is going back to its highs out there. Now, I haven't uh, taken a look at, uh, we didn't, I didn't mention about an A to B equal CD pattern for the Dow Diamonds. And the reason is, folks, because the Dow Diamonds did not confirm an A to B equal CD pattern. And the reason is because in order to draw that, and I've got it properly drawn in here, I would have to use this set of swing points and it's that B to C retracement that exceeds a 0.786 retracement. It was actually 85.82. Okay. And as you know, you get all the way back there. What that really does is it sets up the idea of more of a consolidation than an A to B equals CD pattern. So that was the reason that I didn't put that in there. I wanted to be able to show people, you know, that retracement. And once it gets above a 0.786, you really, it's really giving you a different message than an A to B equals CD pattern. And I mentioned the consolidation. And that's really the pattern that the uh, uh, diamonds actually broke out of on a Friday, and they did it with volume as it took out a, a a swing point out there. So what I have for the Dow, not an A to B equals CD pattern, but what's referred to as a measured move. 
And the measured move, folks, is equal to or greater than the consolidation pattern. Nice. So in my instance here, I've got the Dow, and I don't think it was the diamond you were talking about, really getting back to its all-time highs or very close to it. Uh, if it fulfills this pattern, then 394 is the initial price objective because in a consolidation move, as you know, as you've taught us, um, you know, it could be equal to or greater than the actual consolidation. So I've got the Dow Diamonds getting back to those highs out there, even though it doesn't have an A to B equals CD uh, pattern for us to watch. Um, if we take a look at the Dow's cash index, it also has a measured move. And that measured move gets us up to the 39,460 level. So I want folks to have these numbers, have them down on their pad of paper so that they can take a look at them. But what I have next to that, Tom, is I've got the Dow equity future contract. And it, because it trades differently than the cash indices or the uh, the equity uh, index ETFs out there, here we actually do have an A to B equals C dependent on the upside. And that was confirmed on Friday. And that initial price objective I've got is 39.204. Now, at 39.204 in the futures contract, we don't get anywhere near its actual all-time high and taking a look at the June contract. However, um, so, 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 so what does that mean? It just still means we have an A to B equals C pattern on the upside. When I say initial price projection, it is because A to B equals C D patterns complete at the one to one level about 60% of the time. And that's better than a coin toss. But the question is, how do you know when it's going to be one of those other 40 percenters? And at this stage here, we don't really know. If we had a retracement that was less than a 0.618 retracement, in this case here it was 69%, that's one way of an indication that you're going to do more than a 1 to 1 A to B equals C to D pattern. If you trade on the left side of the C to D leg, it says it's stronger than the A to B leg. That's another indication yes. that it's likely to do more than a 1 to 1. But in this case here, we're basically a 0.618 retracement. So we don't know if it's going to stop at that 39.204. And so the cool thing here, folks, the way that I have a pattern confirm that it's done, in this case here it would be a sell the D point or a Gartley sell pattern, is wait for a bearish reversal candle. And so that's what I'll be waiting for as price gets up to that 39.204 level and hopefully beyond that as well. So that's what I see when I take a look at the Dow. The New York Stock Exchange advanced client officer, I think we were on two weeks ago, and I was talking about how this thing had gotten to just the extreme oversold condition level. Well, as of about a half an hour ago, we're now in the overbought condition. So we've got these A to B equals CD patterns that are out there, and I think that the ride is going to get bumpy. And that actually kind of goes along because you were saying, you know, you don't like the contraction in volume that we're seeing. So, you know, you said it that way. I'm taking a look at a chart here that's saying, you know, Tom, we should expect a little bit of a bumpy ride as these A to B equals CD patterns complete. Yes. One other thing that I'm looking for, which would be a nice confirmation that uh, we should make this move higher in the S&P, is the equal weighted ETF, which is called the RSP. And in this case here, if we get a close today above 163.69, it already had the volume there. Then the equal weight is going to confirm an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside as well. Last thing that I'll share with folks, natural gas looks like it's breaking out. It's trying to break above its consolidation pattern. So that suggests that we could see a move to about $2.40. Whoa, what just happened here? Oh, sorry. Uh -oh. Oh, look at that. Okay, well, well I just went, went blue. That's all right. Listen, folks, <laughs> get over to our website at TFNN. Real easy to get Steve's newsletter, right? You're going to see it right under featured content, the right-hand side. You hit that button, and you are off to the races. Steve, you have a great one, safe one. Of course, we look forward to the show tomorrow. Thanks, Doc. Take Thank care. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.